Hello guys and gals, Woman Rider here. And today, yep, we got the b DK300 Max. And there's a couple of things I wanted to show you that I didn't get to show you in the review. I should take my gloves off of this. But I'm going to show you how to get into the menu and uh, change a couple of settings. I mean, there's not a lot of settings in this one. In this, control, uh, this display, I should say. But to get in there, well, I should start with this. First of all, when you first get this bike and you first turn it on, it's going to ask for a password. <clears throat> and that password is all zeros by default. And then once you get in there, you can change that password or, or you can just turn it off, which is what I did. I just disabled it. Anyway, you push the plus and minus to get into the setting menu. And you have two of them. You have setting one, setting two. <clears throat> so we're going to go into setting one first. And it does have a Bluetooth thing, but I haven't really messed with that. Um, and here you can change that password. Or you can reset it. also has this Bluetooth unlock. I'm not quite sure what that is, but... And you can also change the wheel size, fix the speedometer. And by default, it was set to this 23.2. I'm going to try it on 23 here and see if that makes the speed more accurate. And of course, unit does the uh, metric or imperial. The LCD backlight, of course, does the brightness. I got it all the way on 100. And auto off is, you know, you turns off after so many minutes. I set that all the way down to like 10 minutes. And that's all you could do in there. Now, if you go into setting two, this one's going to ask for a password. And this password is 2020. So you set it by hitting the plus or minus there, and this enter is the power button. Oops, not too far. There we go. 20. And there we go. And of course, the most important one in here is that speed limit. By default, this is going to be set to 60. So I moved mine all the way up to 100, of course. I mean, this does some kind of battery info thing. Doesn't seem to really do much, honestly. That does an error code. Has to reset your trip meter. And, uh,. And this is like your uh, pedal assist level. I just left it on five. That's where I use the light to keep mine at. It does have different themes. I guess it changes the colors. Oh, that's kind of neat. Maybe I do that orange color. Change the language. Mm, that doesn't really do much. Display info. Like I said, the most important thing in here is just to change that uh, that speed limiter. Let's go back into this one. You see how it says start password there? That's what I was going to show you. So if you do like I did there, if you just turn it off, and then you don't have to worry about that initial password anymore. I think I kind of like the orange better. Anyway, just wanted to show you that. And then we'll just uh, do a little ride back home. And that'll probably be it because i got to hurry up. As you see, there's some rain right over there. So I'll try not to get wet. It's been uh, raining for the last couple of days off and on. And I can't tell it now, but it just rained like two hours ago. But it's been so dry here, so I'm not really going to complain about the rain. As you see, it's been so dry that, yeah, it's already dry. <laughs> you can't even tell it rain. But yeah, it's been really dry. So uh, the rain is kind of welcome. And been, uh, it's kind of made it hard to make videos the last couple of days, though. And it is really late right now. It's like uh, probably about 7.30, I think, right now.
Man, this thing rides really smooth with the suspension. I mean, this is a really rough road right here. You can't really tell it with this one so much. And this is kind of uphill too, and we're still doing almost 33 going uphill. Starting to feel some raindrops. Ooh, I better hurry up. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my light on too, just in case. Just for visibility, make sure people can see me. pretty good too it doesn't turn the sharpest because of the way that uh, that battery sits up there it is kind of wide so they put those rubber stoppers to keep you from hitting that battery but I haven't had any real problems turning it around or nothing but yeah, 37 30 <laughs> You're going downhill 37 and a half or so I have seen it do a little more than that this hill's not that tall so kind of run out of road all right I'll ride back on the back road here the flat road four third five and you see this road's flat, so you know some people kind of question me <laughs> with the other one, but yeah. You get at least 35, 36. Here we go. There's 62, 35, 6. This bike is really fast for 48 volts when the battery's full. And if you get below, let's say 40% or so, it'll slow down a couple of miles an hour, but still pretty quick. I guess mostly due to the dual batteries and the dual motor. And it handles pretty darn well with these tires because they're more street oriented. Can't really complain about them. This feels really solid with this steel frame, even though it's heavy, it's it's solid. That rear shock is great. That's the shock I wish I could put on my uh, go power by power grid. It is fantastic. Check it. Put a couple of those on the deck. Oh, and I did fix my uh, front rotor. I'm still waiting to get the one from uh, B Lod. But in the meantime, I went ahead and uh, Put another one I had on there and I found a 160 and put it on there. Now that, that got rid of the, the squeaking and stuff it was making. Because I didn't want to end up messing up the brake pad, so I put a good rotor on it. Eventually I'll get the one for them and then I can decide where I want to swap it back out again or not or just leave this one on there. It doesn't look exactly like the other one, so. I don't really care, honestly. This one's just fine. This steep hill here. Got a good running start, so it's gonna climb up to 25 or so. Very nice. All right, well, we're probably gonna go ahead and end the video here. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please share my videos with others. And please check out my uh, links in the description below because I got a nice uh, discount link for this bike. I think it gives you like 50 bucks off. And if you do get it, please use my link so I get a little small commission off of that. I appreciate that, and I'll see you in the next one.